All right. All right. Morning, 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 morning. Black God 777 underscore. Me teacher, me general. We are going with Big Up Congo. You know, I'm a real general. The man that teach me everything, the Mega Vic 95. But the first batch people, member, I Congo teach me about nutrition. I Congo teach me about praying the right way. I Congo teach me all things about spirituality and food and bag of things. You see me? Lady Hilly, I go on. Remember your sexiness overload, you know. Remember them say you have the biggest, rawness, sexiest ass of Canada, so. And me, and me say so. And the people, them. You understand? Hear me, I say, people, I wake up this morning. I'm a feel good. I wake up this morning. I'm a feel happy. I wake up this morning and I feel accomplished. I wake up this morning and I feel great. I wake up this morning and I feel like my words and my works and the things that I say I reach the right people, them ears. You understand me? I said, that. We are fight a battle. I mean, I think we don't understand the battle where we are fighting. You know? We don't think we don't understand the struggle, the uphill struggle, and the fight them put up on the battlefield without no shield, without no sword. We have to fight and take away people's shield and use it and take away people's sword and use it. You see, once, you're born or you live under the brand Jamaica. You're already fighting a fight. And this morning, I wake up and we make a huge victory lap. Now, when I say my words come to pass, I want to remember when verses did do during the pandemic. You know, cause people I want to become very forgetful, you know. Remember when verses doing you know, and them this way and them put out the top performer them for verses. That time we have the biggest numbers per verses, Bunty and Beanie, and them never add Bunty and Beanie to it. And then we cuss and rebel and then them add Bunty and Beanie and say them I give them part of publishing. And I say, I turn on my life and I say, if Swiss Beats and Timberland really want to do something, for the culture and for dance hall. Them for fight, for get back killer and be him and them visa. Who remember that? Who remember that was my plea? That was my cry. You just adding us to the magazine cover that mean nothing. You just agi and um, bunty and be in them publishing. That's what them supposed to get and they shouldn't that I will back at in the first place. But if you really would say you want to do something for the culture, if you want to help the culture, get back Bunty and be in them visa. Now, last night was a milestone in the comeback for dance at the forefront. And I got to try to talk today without cussing anybody. I got to try to talk today without getting any way aggressive at all because more people for Absorb when me I say, Zine, they have used the visa situation to cripple dancehall music because of their agenda to push the LGBTQ community upon the last nation of straightness, which is Jamaica. Zine, someone who just has see this as music and visa, no, it's a righteous Buckle, we are going. So when you see them cripple the artists, them via visa, anybody where I say them I help the country from the big leagues, you have to help a situation there. Else you're not enough for a culture. We already have the biggest music in the world. So for you come and say, you produce one song, that not mean nothing because you help yourself. 
if you put Bunty and Beanie upon verses at the time and then put verses, wasn't doing nothing for Bunty and Beanie really. It was actually broadbanding verses all over the world because once you infect and uh, inject dancehall in a, any international music product, it gets bigger. See, because we have the biggest music on the face of the earth. Now, when certain artists do a visa, we cannot compete on the main stage because our new products does not have what it requires to sell tickets and to fill these venues. See? Now, a hell for a Jamaica show will get Madison Square Garden. If you know anything about promotion in America, a hell for get Madison Square Garden. Barclay Center, where you see them get last night, we more lenient, but it's still hard. What happened last night was history. Zin, me go to Barclay Center, there was 50 Cent, there was Buster Rhymes, there was, uh, who again? I think Fat Joe. Who will see the show there? I will, who was a hip hop artist? It takes for fully. Zin, um, what do you burn a boy? I must see fully. I know him alone. Some people about burn a boy alone. He's never burn a boy alone. Him and some other people, right? What do you super cat full back the center to? Zin, a Swiss beats them care super cat in there. That was huge. TJ, they made run out and Dexter It's the last night. It's the last night. Tell the world, say, dancehall is number one and Jamaica is still number one. You hear that? I'm proud of everybody we book for that show the last night. Me don't know the promoter, but I want to pick up the promoter. People want to understand how me reasoning. You know? Not because the promoter now book me, he book job of them and that's amazing for me. Cause a Jamaica, they are represent the man keep a show. We're fully Jamaican. Barclay Center Ram till he can't ram no more. See? What happened last night was massive. Kojo had foot by somebody. People may have a forward live and commend the promoter. Figure straight. Jamaican. See? The show was 100% Jamaican and Barclay Center sold the fuck out. That show the last night was a part of the journey. See? They maintain Jamaican status as number one in the world. See? If that show did, did flop last night, to the earth way in a major way. So for the facts that the show was sold out and the performances were amazing, it's a big plus for Jamaica and the culture. Now I'm going to hope them young youth here. When I talk young youth, I talk the young, young, young one of them. The one them we are saying about the spit in that show and the suck hood and the and the and the the bag of things when it makes sense. On of a watch, not to be criticized, but watch and observe and follow the guideline. We now say if you do everything with the elder them doing, it, but follow the guidelines. Do not go over the boundaries that was set by the people them before we, my lord. We, you have to be innovative and you have to be creative. But you cannot be destructive. Cause I'm not gonna mash up something where hard to fix. Very hard to fix, bro. Bro, who no make best of the best no keep. Me can't believe all now, you know. Killer filler.
more of them and them understand them make best of the best not keep the new artist make best of the best not keep more more understand me as saying no, bro last night supposed to be a wake up call for all of the young artists them we are seeing garbage None of the six month sang them nothing last night. None of the three month sang them nothing last night. None of the little one year sang them nothing last night. I do everything. None of them play. And the fucking venue was sold out. So I am saying to them, you don't need glasses. You don't need glasses. You don't need to listen to your entourage member them where I say yes to everything where you say. You need to look out of your own eye and ask yourself, why me not get booked for Barclays Center? Why me not get booked for that big show here? Ask yourself. Sit down and ask yourself. You don't know how to do something right. Oh no. Not doing something right. See, somebody said I'm playing an early part. Why not show? I am saying, for you to be the artist thing, and them up do a show like this, we have bring bring back the Jamaica thing, and them not look on the bridging. It's something wrong. Mumma London, big up yourself, my G. So when me I say no, Barclay Center not easy for full, you know. Remember, I like, remember Amazura art for full. Some artists careful Amazura, much less Barclay Center, Bridget. First thing, not for the people, I'm saying, when I drive, go away, I'm going to say no. So if you're not in demand, dog, you, you, you can't run Barclay Center. Last night, People, you know, say, me not know about the show. If you don't watch my live, them zine, you don't know, realize that I never know about the show. Because I hear about the show. I keep it on the road, I hear about it. And then somebody I tell me, say, Ellie, they put me, say, Ellie. And them send me the flyer. And I see a cabra, they put it on, parent on, lazy and yellow man. And I say, wait. And I know I'm all something this. But honestly, me never know about the show. I want to look at the selector part, I think of Bobby Candace and Jabba. Massive B. And then one next song, them never have no whole person on it. So, the show well put together and well planned. I mean, never really know. People, when I woke up from last night, when the show go on, people are text me and people are call me. See? From the show start load, people are text me and say, Barclay Center ram out. See? Them say, Barclay Center come like a girl on a back road, ram out. And I said, this is amazing. Because the way I see music, you know, enough of only don't see music that way. Some of them go see music for jump up and clap. And there is a war going on musically. Them well wa me love Afrobeat you know, people. I don't want to get me wrong you know. I love Afrobeat. I appreciate Afrobeat music. But they are using Afrobeat as a weapon for downplay dance hall. And me not like it because our content is the uplifting of the black people and the uplifting of the black race along with party along with warrior spirit. Afrobeat does not sing anything uplifting. Afrobeat don't empower black people. Afrobeat don't push any revolutionary thing. It not talk about the atrocities of black people and nothing. See? So I have a problem with them using it as a weapon against reggae and dance. See? So, um, back to basic. You say you don't think so still. Prove me wrong. Which Afrobeat song you know bust? We sing about any atrocities in Africa 
or any struggle with black people are fierce or any problem or any laws where them rise against black people there's none there's not one afrobeat it we sing about anything defending black people or pushing black people for better or uniting black people and none of that so now afrobeat shit i mean i want nobody bring it to me i don't want nobody come tell me about afrobeat more than dance hall none of that because we are push a trailer truck up a hill we are push a trailer truck up spur tree hill so do not tell me that shit so last night last night see last night was very powerful for jamaican culture jamaican entertainment jamaican music you understand? Jamaica struggle. That show the last night was proof that we are the number one music on the entire planet. See? There's no venue where we can ram. There's no venue where we can sold out. It's just because they are blocking us. Certain venue we can't even get. I told no found to know where I go on around the scenes. Once you say I keep Jamaica and show, you now get certain venue. When you keep Jamaica and show, you have to merge it with hip hop and something to get certain venue. Because they want it look like we cannot do it. You understand what I'm saying? They want make it look like, oh, this, this genre doesn't have the pulling power. Danny Moe, big up yourself. Bye, budgies. Them what it look like our genre is not that big to full certain venue, but it's a lie. Them just nah give we the venue them because of our content. Our music is uplifting and our music is uniting black people and our music have messaging of the music. So them want to water it down and minimize it. You see, last night, more and big up Shaba. More and big up Elephant Man, more and big up Mad Cabra, more and big up Barrington Levy, more and try to remember everybody good with the on the show, you know. Zin, more and big up the great yellow man, you know. Zin, the great yellow man, more and big up Bobby Candace and Jabba to at 97 because they represent. You know, more and big up Noah to come and see Noah perform with Elephant too. Zin, so more and big up Noah to. You understand? Big up Two Fly from Jersey, big up Ninja Kid. You understand? We have a big up with people them big up king shango zine people big up capital people me not think gonna understand what go on last night you know back to basic yes the artists them in a dance are stop on fire but them can't take back what them do already Capitan sing last night him they have to sing him original song them and the song them we are do the work because of them stand up in the people and brain. Elephant man sang them stand up in the people and brain. Cabra the Bridget, we wanna understand. Big up Spraga. Um I don't think Spraga did um book for the show, but Spraga did dead. People were at my last night open at the floodgate for proper dance hall. And you know why it was able to be done? Flossing King, what you mean by it's just a show? You don't know nothing where I go. And if you think it's just a show, just keep quiet, bitch. Come in, as me say, I don't want to cuss nobody out. I mean, I want to get angry to this. So don't text no foolishness, bitch. It's not just a show. It's a message. At the floodgate open back. I'm going to big up the American embassy. Because we have to call a spade a spade. Zin? We have to big up the American embassy. Zin, Caperton have back him visa, work permit more than likely. Elephant man have back him visa, work permit more than likely. Um, that is great for us. But we still need more. We need Sizzler Kalanji to get him US visa. We need Bounty Killer to get him US visa. We need Beanie Man to get him US visa. You understand? Javinci fear of him US visa. We need popcorn fear of him US visa. Stop use Sykes and black out with culture. Cause a Sykes you know I use Bridget. And we know a Sykes you know I use. Stop use Sykes for water down with culture. Cause I know say, if 
all of these great talents have visa at the same time. There's no competition. None. So stop. Use this LGBTQ front and black the culture. And in a, in a business really, but um, to the man them burn out Chichi man are Look how much people in America burn out Chichi man. Look how much people Look how much people in America burn out Chichi man. I don't care to call them citizenship. I don't care to lock them up. I don't care to them nothing. But because you know I shut down the culture and make it look like our music is not the number one. When you use the LGBTQ something as a scapegoat for black men me and performers them of our culture. So that way they know when they can put up some little mediocre artist and performer against reggae and dance and make it look like them better than we. They are not how we run the thing. Here is no over hundred years now we are on the thing. No matter what jar, what age a, a, a regular dancer you go. From when you crisscross them to when you every day to when you everybody, biggie smile them, the whole of them on a TI, everybody on a Swiss beats and everybody, a we collaborate with them and bust them. From when you Maya to when you Janet Jackson, everybody, come on, stop. Use the visa thing for shadow the culture. That's what I do. And I make it look like a, 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 a bunny now, chichi man, and have a problem with. You know when we start near a million American artists with bono chichi man and bono party man. And still the shows everywhere and don't get black, black, blacklisted now, not at all. Stop it, bro. So yes, we're glad Elephant have him visa. We're glad Capitan have him visa. We need Bunty and Bean if you get them visa. We need Popcorn, Javinci them if you get them visa. Free up the people them. Free up the people them. Free up the people them. You understand? Me glad Ding Dang have visa as one of our other artists. But we need all of them for your visa. Why hold back for the people them visa? The man them not kill nobody. The man them not do nothing like that. Everybody have kill around them. Nobody not have more kill around them than the rapper them. Everybody have kill around them. So, because somebody where you know go kill somebody, that means you not forget visa. So, because somebody run you, End up become a criminal means that you not forget visa. Oh, where? When? What that have to do with you? What that have to do with you? All politicians have people around them who kill people. I know people who kill people. Wanna take a politician visa? No. No. So you know, want blacklist them and them via association. Via say them know somebody where a criminal. Everybody know somebody where a criminal. Everybody knows somebody we are criminal. So why the fuck the American embassy are going like the man them kill nobody? Me not understand. What the man them do? I know you can't give an explanation why Bunty and Beanie and Sizzler don't have visa. I know me can't hear why Popcorn don't have visa. What the problem? Like tell me, give it, give it, give it clarity. No, tell me the truth. I'll know. The U.S. Embassy don't respect me enough to tell me. What the fuck have our artists done that you are not giving them visa? What them do? Give it clarity, no man. Give it explanation. You just turn down somebody for visa one million times. And you can't give a, 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 um, a, a reason. And then the government is not standing up for the entertainers and say, the U.S. Embassy, can, can we get clarity why our ambassadors are not allowed entry into the United States? Or what, what them do? Which drugs they catch them a ship? 
which human trafficking you catch them and do? What kind of terrorist act them do? What, explain to us what the fuck have they done? Because you can't tell me, say, oh, um, him have a friend that do crap. So, every single politician have a friend that do crap. Everybody have a friend that do something for the law. Everybody. What does that have to do with the person, though? This person is an ambassador. It's a musical ambassador whether you want to like it or not. Why them not on a visa? Tell me why them not on a visa, no? A whole lot of fuckery U.S. Embassy going with you. Ricky Chupa have one fake gun for something to talk about YouTube. You took out a man visa for that? Like, you have sense? We don't have the highest level of gun crime in the world. In the world? And you want to take a man visa because I do a video skit with a gun? People, me don't want it so on a way when me say this, you know. But me have to say it because when you have a certain job, you have to do your job. I think it's time for the Jamaica government to stand up to the U.S. Embassy and stand in solidarity with the entertainment sector of Jamaica and start questioning the U.S. Embassy, on why the fuck are you blocking these people's visas? The government of Jamaica has to, at some point, grow some balls and ask the U.S. Embassy, what is your fucking problem? What are the problem? Because this is not right. It can't make sense. It can't make sense. It is, it is actually crippling the country when our entertainers cannot travel out in the world and sell brand Jamaica. Cause that's what we do. We sell brand Jamaica. When you have our main marketing people cannot enter certain regions for no reason at all, it limits the sale of the product. So we are losing money. We are losing income. We are losing traffic. Because the more the artists them go out there and deliver the culture the right and proper way, it's going to spark interest. See? People who are interested in Jamaica more. People who are far with Jamaica more. Based on the entertainment where we are put out there. Because I'm not artist alone. I'm saying entertainment means selector, comedian, everybody. When we go out there and bring the product, the product attracts the audience and the audience wants to see the original place of this product. So I think it's time for the government Whichever one in, in a business, I wish one in, whether labor right or PNP, they need to stand beside entertainment and demand some respect from the U.S. Embassy. You understand? The U.S. Embassy has been operating like this for a long time. Where them feel like them just get up and them just in a Jamaica and deal with Jamaica and any Yo, yo, you will get turned down for your visa, you know. And you can't ask them why, why you get turned down, you know. Them run you out and give you one bag of paper, say, if you got to do this and go online and go, nigga, talk to me right now. The fuck you mean? You just told me I'm turned down. Why am I turned down? Have a fucking conversation. I'm at the counter. I'm right in front of you. You have your compu computer in front of you. Put in me information and it turned me down. Why? There has to be a fucking reason. Shit, I never want a customer. That. Sorry, people. Sorry. 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 I never want a customer. That. I lose it a while ago. But may I say, 
I'm saying, I think, this is just my opinion, it's not a fact. I think if the government over the years, meaning I'm not talking labor right alone, I'm not talking PNP alone, I'm talking about over the years, over the decades, if the government was standing up and having proper dialogue in defense of the entertainment sector towards the visa situation, we wouldn't have that problem here where the U.S. Embassy just feel like they can deal with entertainer any of them feel. Because I know we can't get a valid reason why popcorn can have a visa. But when the U.S. Embassy put in popcorn name, Andre Sutherland, whatever, them say millions of dollars generate. So this man is also an asset to America. He's not only an asset to Jamaica, he's a big, big asset. You have multiple collaborations that were released in America. Them know how much it sell. Them know how much views. Them know how much this. Them know how much, how much plaque him get from Billboard or YouTube or wherever him get. Them know so this man is not a normal man. They are under like, you have a question for ask if he's an entertainer. The proof is there that he's an entertainer. So what the fuck is the problem? Uno know Bonticula done one million work permit over the years. Uno see him versus everybody we work in an embassy America watch versus. Them see him and being in them know so them money are ambassador for joy. From before, from visa having picture where you can glue them and tear out. Them are see Bunty and being in them are come a foreign. Them from, from, from name the venue them over the years. Bunty and being in them lock them down already. So, what you can tell me, say now, in a, about 20, about 10 years now, them lock down kill uh, about 8 year or 7 years, them lock down being it. Like, uno a tell me, say, uno no know, say, a bunty a being it, uh. What crime bunty a being it commit in America? Who them kill? Which president them try assassinate? I mean, that's all. What the problem? Analytical, big up. What, what is the problem? Who is standing up and, and querying these rejections of visa? Who are do that? Who we have in a government where is responsible? Figure take on the US embassy and ask them, what are the problem? Give with transparency. What the fuck is the problem? What are the problem? Because there is no problem. Problem is them not like what we are seeing. Because we are seeing an uplift black people, I empower black people, I denounce homosexuality, I promote God, I promote unity, I promote the Almighty, I promote Emperor I promote Africa. That's what they don't like. That's all them don't like, you know. The artists them they do not know. The artists them don't do not know. The artists them don't do nothing. But them know say, if we keep out the main players, we keep the culture at a level. You understand what I say? 90% of them artists were boss and run the place. A Jamaican artist them have to collaborate with. You understand what I say? So my thing is, who inside the governing body of Jamaica is responsible to go and confront the U.S. Embassy, or the British Embassy, or the European Union. Uh, tell me, you have to have a, a, a body of people in place to query these things. Because when them shut down the artists, these are the problem. You know? Politician, big up Lotus Flower K by Budges. The politicians tend to think that when the artists are grounded, it doesn't affect them. It affects all of us. It affects all of us. Because if, all right, let's take a car for instance, right? Say Jamaica 
is a car. Right? Like how you have a Benz. You have your AC. You like your AC cool and when it's hot, you turn up your AC and wind up your window. Also, you like your, 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 your LED light when you door them. You like your remote seat can move back and forth. And you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying is, do you know that if the, the distributor, see, the catalyst converter and the filter in the car will distribute the gas to the rest of the vehicle to create that AC feeling, to move that seat, to make all of the comforting things in the car. If the filter or the catalyst converter is taken away, then the car cannot work. So I want you to understand what these big embassies are doing. They are taking out the distributor. They might take out the filter and the catalyst converter out of the vehicle called Jamaica. Now, no matter how big a politician is, he can't be bigger than an artist. He can't be more popular than an artist. People don't run down politicians when they go to the airport or when they go to them places. People run down artists. People run down entertainers. People frightened for entertainers. People pay their money for see entertainers. So, ego play a part of the problem with them politicians. Yeah. Them have ego because they feel like because of them I call the shot, of them for be the star, and of them of them for run everything. Zin? So, what me I say is no. Zin? Them push them ego in the responsibility where they're supposed to have to secure the culture. Because them feel like them are more popular than the artists. And them feel like them are more bigger than the artists. And them feel like they have more fans than the artists. It will never happen. We need to stand up to the US Embassy. We need to start a dialogue where it makes sense with the British Embassy. We need to start, like, come on now. Like, you can't just get up. You, you have an embassy in a, my country. Nothing up at the embassy is for free. Them act like say US visa is a sorry for thing. You have to pay for it. You have to pay for your petition. You have to pay for your visa form. And you have to pay for your interview. So not not free. So the government not fear act like say you have to kiss us. Like yes. You want to come to America, come eat food and make money. But I'm not free. It is not for free. Nobody not get visa for free. Nobody. Nobody. None of the artists when you say have a work permit is not for free. The petition has to be paid for. And it have to go through liar. And it have to go through proper thing. It's not for free. So me know uh, the government of Jamaica I act like say when them take with the artist visa them you no afraid to talk up for the artist them like it's a sorry for thing a crazy money America make off a we me don't know if you know but you know say a lot of Caribbean countries have to come to Jamaica to get a US visa because sometimes I don't think people understand what I go on now. A lot of Caribbean countries does not have an embassy in their country. They have to use the Jamaican embassy because Jamaica is that important. Ask yourself, why everywhere leader will come in a power have to come to Jamaica? Just, just thinking on it. Think America put embassies how so much place in the world? Why one did Afi there Jamaica? Just thinking on it. Just think, no? We don't understand that. We don't fear kiss us. 
we feel negotiate 